Hello, welcome to Baron's Game Room. I'm Aaron as always, and one thing you guys probably don't know about me is that one of my other hobbies outside of tabletop gaming is, uh, funny enough, actually, Beyblades. So today I thought I'd talk about an interesting intersection between two of my hobbies with an old rare oddity from my childhood, the Beyblade V-Force Microtops Battling Game. So, funny enough, my parents actually couldn't really afford buying me a bunch of Beyblades or anything when I was a kid, even though I did like the show and stuff, but they could afford buying me this little game here. Uh, this is not the one I had as a kid. I actually rebought this one later, just out of some nostalgic curiosity, but um, it's an interesting little thing, so let's go over it. By complete coincidence, kind of like the game I talked about last week, Kung Fu Zoo, the entire box itself is the arena in which you play this game in. This game's only for two players. You need to make sure you give each player one of these power core counter things. And then you guys will need this. The first thing players need to do is to build a little top to fight with. Interestingly enough, there's actually a few different varieties in all the little bits and pieces you can use to this game to sort of control, I guess, how your top plays. I don't know. Once each player has their little Beyblade tops built up, you're then going to place two of each of the colors little power course here in the thing so two white and two blue and uh let's get ready to start this game so the point of this game is to try and knock your opponent's colored balls the power cores into your color goal first player to knock in 10 of your opponent's cores into your goal wins the game let's go over that now it's going to be literally impossible for me to launch both of these on my own at once but basically you're going to have both the players hold their tops and then go three two one and both Spin them out into the arena, like so. And you just go until both of them stop spinning. And uh, those probably are going to go in anyways. And you'll see one of the white ones was knocked into this white goal, and one of the white ones was knocked into the blue goal. If it's knocked into the same matching goal, it just goes back to the center. Nothing changes there. But since a white was knocked into the blue goal, that means, boom, the blue player scores that core. Both players will take their tops out. You're allowed to change up any of the parts, the spare parts you might have between rounds. Then, before the next round starts, you'll put in two more of each core. <clears throat> and then, just simply go again. Keep doing this until, again, one player has ten cores built up on their board. There is one more thing, in that, during fighting, you might end up knocking your opponent's Beyblade into one of your goals. If you do that, that immediately nets you two cores. Off to the side, put them on your thing. Boom. You may have noticed this ribbon over here. This one is for tiebreakers. If at the end of the round, both players have 10 cores in their home, they'll drop that in and play until a player knocks that into a goal. And that is absolutely everything to that game. That's really all it is. You just drop the little plastic balls in there and you spin your little tops and you try and knock them into your goals. Again, you got to knock them into your opponent's colors into your goal. There, that's what we're trying to get at uh, to get the points. It's a stupid, silly, easy game. As a kid, I was just happy to have anything Beyblade related. As an adult, it was just a weird nostalgic purpose because I found it cheap online at some point. Usually I can find the starter set thing cheap online for the most part, like 20 bucks or less. Uh, I think I got mine for like 12 And it comes with one set of like, like the stuff you need to build two tops, one blue top and one white top. And then you can buy expansion packs that'll give you like more of these like little random boosters to give you more of these bits uh, i had terrible luck when i did that i think i bought four of them or something like that and out of all the ones i opened every pack comes gives you one more white and one more blue or one more clear and one more blue one and all of my clear ones my white ones were always the same out of four packs i opened the only thing i got different from the a regular one I got in the main box was I got one different tip. Otherwise, these were different in almost all of them. I ended up with at least two different to uh, tops, three different bottoms, uh, and yeah. But no, this one was basically the exact same one every time. Just weird, crappy luck, I guess. There's obviously really nothing to this game. It's just a silly little, I guess, dexterity game and all that. As far as what I recommend it, I mean, to be perfectly honest... Not really. Um, if you're a fan of Beyblade or nostalgic from your days as a kid watching it, then yeah, it could be a fun little collector's item. But as far as like, should you be adding this as a tabletop game player to your collection? I mean, let's be real here. No, it's kind of fun, but there's plenty of other better dexterity little games out there that you can get instead. So I think it's pretty obvious to tell that this game, while I am personally happy to have this game, 
uh, Beyblade V Force Micro Tots Battling Game. Oh, what a mouthful! Um, is not there to prove, y'all. 